Hello and welcome everybody and thank you guys for joining me again. My name is Wilkie and I'm here with my Devil Hunter PvE builds. And yes, you heard it right, it's going to be about builds. I'm going to be explaining stuff I use in Chaos Dungeons, mobbing content and what skills or tripods I use for raids or difficult bosses. So feel free to check it out. I'm also going to be putting the skills in the description with the skill calculator. So if you just want to check that one out, feel free to do so. Before we actually start, in case you're wondering, we are in Trisyon. If you wonder how to get to Trisyon, it's music of Trisyon. Then you go to Beatrice, go to training, et voila, you're in the training room where I'm going to be doing all the testing. Also, another thing to note here, doing, like, testing around here, you can actually spend more skill points than you have. So this is a very good opportunity to get familiar with skills, tripods, and just try it out for free. Anywho, without further ado, we're going to reduce cooldowns or remove cooldowns so we can just start with the get-go. Like I said, this is going to be about Chaos Dungeons, so priority are movement speed, big AoEs, and general just anything that helps me clear it faster. Spiraling Chaser, very straightforward. The first tripod we're going to take is adding a 10% crit chance to you and your party. This is self-explanatory, but very, very powerful. Also, I have Light Steps here, which gives me movement speed. In case you don't have as many skill points as I do, this is definitely one of the tripods to not take early on. This is purely optional. What this does is just lets me move faster, which is nice, but it's definitely not needed. All you really need this skill for is for the added crit chance. AT grenade, pretty much the same deal here. Deals okay amounts of damage, has a very good cooldown, but same deal here, just get the crit debuff. Those don't stack because it's the same debuff but you can override it. So let's just summon a Scarecrow here. So if you see that one here, and we throw that one up, and it went up. Also, I have the Bleed Rune on it. So we have another debuff, and let's throw this one here. It goes back up to six seconds. So you can go back and back with those debuffs, since they don't stack, but they refresh each other. So it's a really good thing. Execution, just a mobility tool. Use it, most of the time, you're going to be using it just for the kick, but you can use it with the shooting at the end though honestly it's not going to be much of a damage thing also you can delay the shooting a little bit as you can see this is like holding it and you can like wait a little bit and you're going to be fine so yeah this is a few things that you can do plasma bullet not being used meteor stream this is a love or hate thing for a lot of devil hunters i like the skill or chaos dungeons though there really isn't all that much use for it Somersault Shot, I like to use Ignore Collision, you don't have to, so you can free this one if you don't want to. What this one does is let me summon a bigger mob here, so let's summon a monster, a rare one. So with this tripod, I can go through them. And if I don't have the tripod, I cannot go through them. I will be stuck at them. So this is optional, like I said, if you want to pass through bigger mobs or stuff like that, you can take it. You don't have to. I just have it because four points is not going to make any of my other skills hit harder. So, yeah. Equilibrium. Now, this one, if you have enough skill points, Purge does help because it's a huge AoE around yourself and it's a very quick skill. If you don't have enough skill points, just going to level 7 to get Exposed Vital and Vital Shot is going to be perfectly fine. So, if we just uh, remove this down here, save... This one goes into like a cone shape, but that one is perfectly fine to clear mobs with. Because it still has a very good radius, as you can see. It's not all that needed to go for that extra point, but if you have that oomph, then definitely by all means go it. One of the more optional skills though. Deathfire is actually not used for my Chaos build. I know the skill is flashy and the skill looks good, but it just takes so much time to actually execute. And the damage compared to other abilities it's just not there, so I would definitely not use it for PvE. Bullet Dance, quick movement, another thing like with Somersault Shot, it just adds to your mobility a little bit. If you like it, keep the skill points in it. If you don't like if you don't have the skill points, you can leave the skill at level one. This is a purely mobility tool, lets you dance around a little bit, as the name suggests, bullet dance, and gives you some more movement while dealing a little bit of damage. Quick shot, not used for PvE. Cruel Chaser can be used as a filler. It actually has a decent enough damage. It has a relatively long animation, especially the last shot at the end. But if you need another filler ability, this one's the go-to. I just have it on my hotbar just for the lows, basically. But at times, I don't really use it very often. All right. 
Shotgun skills. This is where the juicy part lies for Devil Hunter because specialty increases our shotgun damage. So this is where his hard hitters are lying. And in case you're wondering, of course, we're going to be using the enhanced weapon engraving. So Omen of Apocalypse melee shot. Usually you want to stand point blank to the enemies. Stun effect is not used for PvE and this one can be used, but generally this one's definitely my go-to. Enhanced shot, same thing here. Just more damage. We don't really need the additional cooldown reduction and we don't need destruction for Chaos Dungeons. So last but not least, take Aftermath. What this one does is it changes so we actually have three shots. Because normally you would have two shots. This is like the base version. And this is the one with the Aftermath one. Very good for Chaos Dungeons because like I said, mobs and stuff. Because the approaching end only works to enemies immune to stun and knockback effects. So it's only there for bosses or higher mobs. But for trash mobs, this one works a lot better. Shotgun Barrage, pretty much the exact same rule here. We're going to use melee shots since we don't need the combo. Since Chaos Dungeons, you don't really need to dodge that often. Enhanced Shot, just another damage boost. Cooldown can be used. I don't really think we need it for Chaos Dungeons. And Extended Shot is actually very similar to the one of omen apocalypse what it does is it changes the speed so it's going to be 30 percent faster and we're going to get that last additional hit if we take special bullet it's going to be three shots but this one is always only going to be working for the big mobs so like i said same rule here take the thing that works against trash mobs as well shotgun ruler melee shot once again very explanation no needed Full range, just so you don't have to stay point blank to deal more damage. Now, a lot of people, or there are a lot of people, there is the option to take roll as well. And what that will do, it'll just make you channel the skill longer and it will remove the window. Personally, I don't really like it. So I keep to my conquer, especially since I have the tripod here. Also, the swiftly prepare is an option, but you don't really need it. Like if, if you're solely relying on this skill to clear chaos dungeons, you're not going to be having a very fun time. Last Supper. Boy, probably the, if not the best skill overall that a Devil Hunter has. Quickly prepare is pretty self-explanatory. You want to get the skill up as often as possible. You can take Fire Bullet or Cold Bullet, but for raw damage, definitely take cooldown. So Burning Heat, um, really don't worry about this one. The difference or the choice is between Execution and Strong Explosion. So Strong Explosion is just a damage buff, but it doesn't grant you any mobility. Execution adds the loop, like this nice little dash here. So it makes the skill a little bit more comfortable to use. But as you can see, we have like, what, 400 threats. Let's see. Boom. And if we take Strong Explosion, the damage is going to be a bit higher. There you go. 530k. So this one adds more damage. This one adds the damage to downed enemies, but you don't take this tripod for damage, but for mobility. This one's super huge for PvP, but we're talking about PvE here. So I stick to strong explosion. Last but not least, auto fire is pretty much self-explanatory. You shoot three times, the damage is increased. You can take double shot, but honestly, there's no point to use it. Sure, it looks fun. It looks a bit cooler but damage is definitely on auto fire so you want to make sure you use that tripod last but not least we have some sniper skills spiral flame i like using quick aim because it makes it 50 percent faster this one's pretty huge so take a look this is what it channels without and it's just much more convenient to use that way and for four points you can't really do anything wrong same thing goes for Great Disaster. If you decide to use it in PvE, then I just tap it and let it go out. Really no point to invest more skill points for Chaos Dungeons. Triple Explosions, not used. Aim and Shoot, same thing here. Not really a good PvE skill. And last but not least, we have Perfect Shot. Steady Posture. You don't have to use it, but you don't need destruction in Chaos Dungeons. So Steady, like steady Posture is the only thing. Because mana usually isn't a problem in Chaos Dungeons. Enhanced Shot, pretty self-explanatory. You want to deal more damage as usual. And Precise Shot, if you time it right, it will always be a crit hit. This is by far the hardest hitting skills 
for the skill of Devil Hunter with all the tripods in. So definitely my go-to if I have a good line of enemies with like a choke point, just wham it in and kill them. All right, that was it for my Chaos build. I don't think I have to talk about the ultimates because Clay Bombing has a good AoE. Bursting Flare has a very line damage, like good line damage. I usually use that one because I line them up so that my ults actually hit them most of the time. I'm sure you've seen the videos where I did some clears, but you can use clay bombing if you want to. Just a bit of a longer move. It looks a bit more fancy than his coil rifle, but I personally think bursting flare is better. Like I said, this is it for my chaos build. So jumping over to my raid build or void build. What are the changes that we're going to go through? We're going to remove that one. Actually, we're going to enter training here. Because this was my PvE build. And we're going to switch to Raid and Void. Let's go back to training. And explain a few things along the way here. So, as you can see, Spiral Chaser still has crit. I don't have Light Steps because I need the skill point somewhere else in order to maximize DPS. And the mobility is not as needed in Raids, at least not for me. AT Grenade, same thing here. Crit. Execution, same thing here, no mobility. Meteor Stream, I have find weakness to increase my damage against uh, targets to immune to stun and knockback, which pretty much are any raid boss. So, Somersault Shot, we don't have Ignore Collision because you can't dash through raid bosses. Even with that tripod, it will not allow you to go through, so it's pointless to take this one. Equilibrium, as you can see, I don't actually have the Exposed Vital here, but Rapid Fire in order to make the skill faster. It's not a whole lot faster, but it is faster and for raids, meaning you are going to be on the move quicker again. So definitely my go-to pick, especially since you can cycle the crit debuff with those two skills. You don't really need it on that. And Vital Shot to increase the crit chance. Pretty self-explanatory. This one's going to be guaranteed crit for me if I buff myself with my uh, enhanced weapon. This skill is always going to crit hit for me. Deathfire, like I said, no use it for it in PvE. Bullet Dance, same thing here, quick movement to add a little bit of speed to it. And Cruel Chaser there as a filler, sometimes I use it, not really worth talking about. So, Omen of Apocalypse, same deal here as for Chaos, melee shot and enhanced shot, so you want to use damage, but we're gonna use Approaching End. Like I said, this works on raid bosses or anything that's immune to stun and knockback, but not on trash mobs. But since we are fighting raid bosses with this build, this one's more optimal because it only makes two shots, so it's faster and it deals more damage as opposed to the third hit that we get with that one here. Shotgun Barrage. Same deal here. Enhanced Shot. We're not going to use Melee Shot Bot Auto Fire Combo. What this one does is I can click all of these separately. I can hold it. So let me just reset that. I can hold the key and we'll basically execute at the same speed as with anything else. So the speed is going to be the same. But I get the option to just move after each shot. Because this one's a fairly long animation. So if you mistime it, you are forced to spacebar out. Which not necessarily is always the most optimal choice. But this one, you can just pop one shot in here and move around. So this is the reason I use this. If you're feeling comfortable with all your raid knowledge, by all means, go ahead and use melee shot. I just prefer this one to give me more mobility, so yeah. Same thing here with Omen of Apocalypse, we don't want that fourth shot, we just want extra damage per hit against enemies immune to stun and knockback. Shotgun Ruler is identical besides the fact that I don't have full range but find weakness, same deal here. You wanna be basically up in the enemy's face or their butt to get the back step going. And this one definitely helps, so melee shot for more damage at point blank. Find weakness to get more damage against knockback and immune, uh, knockback and stun immune enemies. And conqueror, like I said, same thing here. Exactly the same as on my chaos build. Last supper, exactly the same build here. Now here is the question: If you want this mobility tool because you like your positioning better that way, by all means use it. I think we don't need it since positioning in a raid is usually not that difficult. So let's go back to that one. Last but not least, Spiral Flame, just like the other one, use it to get it out quicker, meaning you can deal DPS faster. Definitely a huge pick. 
great disaster. This one's I this one's I actually took um for for multiple reasons. First of all, it actually deals quite nice damage with two grenades. So this one spawns two grenades, meaning it does two of the hits. Let's see if I can show this to you. Uh, it's gonna be tricky to line them both up. All right, you can see that two numbers pop up, whereas opposed to if you have the one grenade, so it actually doubles the damage on raid bosses. To align this one up onto the enemy is actually fairly simple. Second of all, quick aim to make things faster and concussion to wear them out faster. You can't take helpless target, but usually, or finishing shot, I personally just prefer concussion to have a little bit more of a wear on my enemies. And carpet bombing, this is what makes the skill shoot two grenades. Triple explosions, like I said, not used. Aim and shoot, same thing here. And perfect shot, instead of steady posture, we're gonna use Enhanced Penetration because this gives Devil Hunter another destruction skill for certain raids like Chromamium or any other raids where you need destruction skills. This one lets you add another destruction to your arsenal because like I said, steady posture, you don't really want to stand there and get hit, especially not as a Devil Hunter because you're very squishy. So make sure you don't use Snipe when the enemy is about to hit you. That's why I use Enhanced Penetration. Enhanced Shot and the crit. Exactly the same here. Boom. Guaranteed crit. Very high damage. And now comes with penetration with this skill. Anywho, this is all for my skill builds in PvE. Like I said, this is my raid build. The first one was for Chaos. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section below. Like I said, I'll make the skill build in the Lost Ark skill tree website as well. So this is going to be in the description as well. Last but not least, if you want to see me guys streaming the game on Twitch and other games as I play along, feel free to check out my Twitch channel as well in the description below. And I do hope that this was helpful for all the future Devil Hunter players. Stay safe out there, stay healthy, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.